in this video we are looking at Take a Picture by Filter. This is a great song for working on your sus2 and sus4 chords. It's basically all we're doing and the most common chords that you run into that with uh, in open business position are A and D, which is what we're using throughout the verse here. Um, we've got a little bar situation that I'll explain in the chorus. Um, and then some tricky little syncopated 16th note strumming patterns. Um, not going to go through that in terms of like the uh, actual written rhythm, dotted eighth note, 16th, all that business. We're going to do that. The most important thing is that you hear it. So we'll talk uh, getting that into the ear and of course the strum directions and when chords change. So plenty going on inside of eight measures. We got like four measures being repeated over and over. Uh, for the verse, four measures being repeated over and over for the chorus. Uh, a few different strum patterns to look at here. So let's jump right in. So first thing to take note of, we are in drop D. So drop string six down, loosen it to D. Um, and let's go through our chords. So chords, pretty simple to understand um, because you're, like I said in the beginning, you're just kind of moving one note around with these sus chords. The fingerings might feel, uh, you know, like you're fumbling around it at first, but just keep movements very small. Um, so we've got A major chord. We've got an A sus2 chord. So with my fingering, I'm using finger two, three, four. For an A sus2, I just lift finger four. I've got that open B string in there. And for A sus4, I push my pinky out here to the third fret of string two. All right, so you've just got that note moving around on string two. And A major, A sus two, A sus four. And it's the same for uh, D chord. So get old D major there. Take the middle finger off. Open E, that's D sus two. Put the pinky on on string one fret three. That's D sus four. So that's all the chords for the verse. And then in the chorus, we're gonna jump up here. We're gonna use the same shape for every chord. Um, and we're just gonna slide it around. So I've got finger one, this is the bar that I mentioned, uh, pressing down string six and five, all right? That's it, just string six and five. I'm muting strings uh, two and one with my index finger there. So uh, string six, fret seven, string five, fret seven with the index finger, string uh, four, fret nine with the third finger, string three, fret nine with the fourth finger, right? Middle finger's doing nothing there. And that's the shape that you're gonna move around from fret seven here all the way up to 12, back down to nine, I'm calling out the finger one fret, and five. That is the movement for the chorus. Um, okay, so let's jump into the strum pattern. Okay, so in the verse section, it's really one strum pattern, but when we get to the D chords, there's a little manipulation of the pattern. You'll hear that difference, but it's essentially the same thing. So the way that I'm gonna break this down is uh, just playing on an A major chord, going through that strum pattern with the directions, and then I'll add in the chord movement, and then I'll do the same with the D chords. Um, so A major chord, gonna be down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. I'm just gonna do that muted for a second. Down, up, down, down. a good idea to feel that with a steady beat just uh, kind of intuitively uh, feeling that strum pattern letting that right arm feel very loose different speeds So you want to get 
that pattern down. The first measure is uh, a little bit easier to deal with as far as the first measure of the A chords. We're going to start with A sus2, and on our fourth strum, we put, if you're using your pinky, I'm using my pinky, put the pinky down on string two, fret two, to make the A major chord. Right? So this, if I'm just playing A major, becomes this. So that's on that fourth strum from A sus2 to A. Second measure with the A chords, same rhythm, but the chord movement is a little bit different. So we start with A sus2 again. On the fourth strum, we go A sus4. And then immediately for the remainder of the strum pattern, go back to A major. Okay, so that would be this. focus on that fourth strum of each measure at first, that's basically where everything's happening. Just on that second measure, we're moving it back down to A major. So let's put those two together. A sus2. A major. And A sus2. Sus4. A major. to the D chords, like I said, basically the same thing. We just have one less strum in the first couple beats. So it's going to be, it's going to start with three down strums and then the rest of it is the same. So just with the D chord, it's going to sound like this. First strum is D sus4, and then on the third strum we go to D, and the rest is D. So D sus4, and I'm already going to have my middle finger down for the D chord here. Okay, so D sus4, third strum, D. together so that's all you're doing for the D chords it's the same thing twice um, so going from the beginning with the A chords through the D chords I'm gonna start slow and then start speeding it up I'm going to do this all just with the first chord here, this A sus2. Um, it's a two-measure strum pattern, so you're going to have to work on it nice and slow, 
Uh, don't think the cores are really going to give you too much trouble because it's the same shape, but maybe like knowing when to shift. So we'll work that in here in a second. Um, it's essentially the same rhythmic cells, the same type of groove, but it's different. So uh, you probably feel that and want to make sure that you're hearing it in the audio and uh, kind of understanding where those beats lie, okay? So this is the strum pattern. I'm just going to do it slow in time, but slow enough to where it's not going to really feel like the song. Calling out the directions, I'm just going to speed it up and stop calling out the directions. So, down, down, up. so you can hear where these things are happening. strum it's it's not going to be the same thing every single time in in the audio and a lot of that is there's a lot of other instrumentation going on there right so as long as you're loose and keeping a steady pulse and have the general groove going it's going to work but i'm giving you something that definitely works which is you know what they're playing you, you should be able to hear it in the audio so through the whole thing of the chorus there um slow and then fast familiar with 16 note strumming this might feel intricate but just listen for that consistency of the pulse if you're familiar with playing with a metronome play with a metronome right that will definitely help um, because no matter how difficult a rhythm gets to me the most important thing is the pulse where is that quarter note where is my one two three four because that is what I always have to relate back to um, and if this feels like too much, you know, maybe go check out some, uh, videos on rhythm. I definitely have stuff like that about 16 note strumming in the beginner series. Um, 
it, you know, the, the little details and some theory and understanding the construction and like what rhythms you're playing can definitely uh, help out quite a bit here if you haven't done this stuff before. If you're just jumping into this, like I've been playing guitar long, um, I wouldn't say don't do it, but just make sure you're starting, you know, taking very small steps because um, it can feel difficult to hold on to that much rhythm in your ear, okay? So, but have fun with it. Let me know if you have any questions, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.